So it sounded like, from what she was saying, that this pearl is pretty cursed. Probably don't want to hang on to it for too long over today. I think we ought to poke around this underwater temple, though. Just have a look, right? I want to go. I want to see the underwater temple. I mean, the underwater temple would be cool. We'll see. we'll offer to hand deliver it to the crab people. In fact, yeah, we didn't that's even... where they are. I mean, how are we going to find them? Yeah, we didn't organise ocean. a meeting spot. <laughs> you all position yourselves under the diving right. belt. Everyone, take a breath. <laughs> so you walk into. Wade into the sea. You wade into the sea. <laughs> You're now there, sort of like there's water up to your chins. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the boat is above you, and you hear kind of a chunk, chunk on either side as a shark mouth kind of like grabs hold of mm. the gold bars, and suddenly the bell starts to descend. Yeah. Um, Thanks, guys. Iron sort of gives you all a nod and, and dips out and sort of like swims ahead. Yeah. Um, and you feel the boat sort of change course and mm. you keep going. It doesn't take very long at all, actually. Um, turns out this boat is, yeah, this baby can hold so much oxygen. <laughs> um, because you sort of stop, you reach the, the bottom, the, the seabed, and Iron sort of pops back up and sort of beckons. Mm. Um, and then it's like, points, like. Is he going to do the kissy thing? He wants to make out with you, Dub. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just swims away. I um, think we're there. <laughs> You hear muffled through the uh, like through the water. You hear. I think he wants you to take a rest. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone, everyone takes a big breath. Merci. Julia. <gasps> and then you all go up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. Time um, for it. You Goodbye, gold. Swim out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is an absolutely enormous temple. It's almost like a Gothic cathedral oh under the water. God. But where you would have like lovely columns and stuff, it's just like tentacles reaching up and all that kind of stuff. Oh there's um, <laughs> prudence. There's a statue of like the chill out there. It's kind of like relatively new. It's not covered in barnacles and like sea rack and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it's like looking really heroic. That's a cool pose um, with the claws. And there's sort of like the doorway is not. It's not uh, vertical. It's kind of horizontal. And you see iron just kind of beckon and then swims down up. The little sort of pipe. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. Follow him up. Swim mm -hmm. up the pipe. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. You're kind of like, bleh, you emerge. And there's, <gasps> there's it's bloody there. good that there was air in here, guys. Because um, I didn't yeah. have any. Again, we're really paid off. And you can hoist yourselves up onto sort of a platform, which then leads into sort of the sea cathedral, sea cathedral mm. proper, yeah. where there's all sorts of chanting, lots of fishy smell. You know, it's quite, it's quite sea churchy, really. Mm. You've all been to a sea church. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, say no more. Every Sunday. <laughs> so what exactly is your plan? <laughs> you like really like sea Closed church. Closed on Fridays. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is your plan? I here? think we should give them the pearl back. Wasn't, isn't Cthulhu? Didn't he ask you to write the wrong? I. Yeah, but we don't know what the wrong yeah, was. Yeah, but this is. Uh, the wrong this might is, have been the things. Mm. I think the wrong was. The, Cthulhu's conceptually behind kidnappings if they're done for his benefit. Okay. But so, if this is a rival old one. Yeah, these are, you know, sacrilegious, profane mm. fish cultists worshipping a different deity. Yeah. We well, should find that I crab mean, guy and get an explanation. Why don't you have another another go at figuring out what's... Have a look in your book and see if this looks familiar. Any of this, all right, all I take a good look around this. at the Tentacle Cathedral. Mm -hmm. You could ask Cthulhu what he thinks. Uh, I don't, it's not, it's, it's a bit more complicated stuff. than that, well, Egbert. Eh, it's not like you can pick up the phone to your god and say, hey, sup, and yeah. what's, what gives? I'm still not even sure mine exists. Well, <laughs> not getting a lot of answers Thank to my you. calls. Have a look around at this Tentacle Cathedral just to see what's what, mm -hmm. and whether it is indeed the home of a rival blip block cult. Blip block cult. The cult Sea Witch, witch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Sea witch. witch. Mother, I believe. Right. Was, Yes. Yeah, right. do me a perception mm. check. So that'll be wisdom and perception. We'll make it a 10. All right, let's see. Seven plus my wisdom bonus. Yeah. And then proficiency. Yeah. That's exactly a 10. Whoa, okay. Um, <sighs> Skin of my teeth. So you sort of, you look through this building. Right. And at first you're like, no, oh, this, yeah, this is a cathedral to the sea mother with a mm. daft name. Mm. And then the more you look, you're like, I swear that. And it's almost like one of those where you squint. Mm. You can see that this place was originally a cathedral uh, dedicated to Cthulhu. Oh, snap! And you reckon, you're not certain, but you're like, I think this fell out of use, and these guys are sort of <gasps> squatting. Over. Guys, 
What is, is it? Well, this changes. This is sacrilege going on here. These profane, sacrilegious fish people. They're squatting in Dad Cthulhu's sea church. Yeah, but they're not hurting anyone. Does that make them sea churchins? <laughs> yes, yes Merylwen. <laughs> Inspiration, if you have. <laughs> I reckon this is what Cthulhu was so mad about, and I insist that we wreck the joint. You want us to wreck up this church? We need to raise the well, fish people to the ground. Did we look at how many yeah, fish let people me have a look were at in this place? It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter, Egbert! Wait, hang what? on. What? How many people are there here? There's so you there. scope it out. I see and it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's, look at oh, oh, God, the he's state got of that. He's got a squid face. Oh, yeah, All classic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> classic. You scope it out and you reckon there are sort of ten creatures like iron. Uh, Guys, I reckon kind of, there's like 10 creatures like iron. They're all wearing cultist robes. They're all in cultist robes. Mm. And um, as you sort of scan, you see towards the, the front of the church, there's quite a grand, well, it's not really a throne. It's more of like a big sculpted rock pool. And uh, the chul that you met in the street earlier chul. is sort of there just like nibbling on. It's nice that he was prepared to go out and get his paws dirty. Like, you know, yeah. lead on the, the bailiff front. duties, you know, fair play, hands on leader. Guys, there's oh, 10 oh, cultists and there's that big uh, yeah. lobster man. I think, can I talk oh, to Wine you're again? admiring this, like, from yeah. religious order to religious order. Yeah, like, like, this guy's all right. He gets involved on the ground, you know, he's not sitting in some, like, ivory tower. Yeah. Egbert's being swayed, everyone, we need to act for Egbert's joined the fish cult. <laughs> Iron, buddy. Yeah. yeah. We're friends. Yeah. Be real with us. Mm. Your true pals. How long have you guys been here? This isn't your natural home, is it? What happened, man? Uh, it's kind of looking at you like frustrated. He doesn't know how to communicate. Okay. Mime it for me. <laughs> Mime your past history. <laughs> your people. <laughs> um, Iron sort of gets down and like, sort of brushes himself off. He's like, you came from the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. He <laughs> turns to prudence. He's like, this place, this cathedral, this temple. What about it? Tell us, fish boy. You found it. You didn't know what it was. It was empty. It was empty. It was empty. Ah. You found it. it was how many how long ago was this? Is it a movie? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Flap your fins for how many days it was ago. <laughs> years Six ago years. it was. <laughs> so low, many, many, many years many ago. Many years. So you've been here for generations. I mean, Guys, that's... generations, come on. Sacred ground. For Cthulhu, though. Sacred ground. <laughs> Cthulhu could have... You feel the ground underneath you rumble. <laughs> a bit. Like, even you feel that one. Oh, man, this is it's so... a moral. false sea goddess. This is so morally grey, guys. Um, I, yeah, I think we should let them keep it. They moved in. Squat is rights. Yeah. Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, is there a solution in which everyone is pleased? What if we convert these guys to Cthulhuism? Now you're thinking with Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love because it. Maybe they don't know. Look, they're just sort of like they wandering fish They haven't heard the good folk. word they haven't heard about the, good the news. true Cthulhu. It's Iron's not really good. Look, you see Ian's looking at you. Oh, he's into like, it. Let's go and talk no one ever wants to join my religion. <laughs> Let's go talk to the Chul and tell right. him about how good Cthulhu is. Iron, there's a there's a, a, a wonderful squid god. He, mm. and he comes from deepest space and, and a, the, the abyssal inky void. And he has so many powers and he would really love to have you on side, especially. He's into it, guys. Okay. Let's, let's go. Good. Make, yeah. the rest make, let's make me a spread quick the good word. Persuasion check. All right. Let's, let's, we'll call it a 10. Shouldn't have trouble beating Oh, that's 18, 18 plus 5, so 23. He's just like. Yeah. Oh, man. This is, this is really worked out for. This worked yeah. out well. Yeah, okay. More yeah, I'm with the crab person about this, maybe. More souls. All right. But here's the thing. Yeah. Like, the chul? Chul. Mm -hmm. The crab beast. He won't be into it. He's not going to be into it. Mm -mm. Maybe. Are you saw sure that statue outside? 
Yeah. He's a false god. Oh, but the followers, you think, could be converted? Yeah, I think maybe... You think we need to take out the... We need to crack him crack like a lobster. What if we send Iron in there to, to spread sneakily spread the good news while we just... Hang out? Get them on site so they don't join... Yeah. Good work. I don't know. What do you guys All right, say? I like it. Look, long term, yeah. if they stay in this, if it's not yeah. us, you ask them. Cthulhu will send some eldritch whale or something. Are you saying it needs, to, it needs to be a grassroots movement? Yeah, Iron, it needs to come from yeah. I, from within. I ordain you. You are bishop. You are high priest. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I you fashion, made it, buddy. I fashion Iron a bishop's hat out of seaweed. Egbert, this guy's way more senior than you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. It's not that hard to rise in the ranks of the clergy. Okay, Iron, uh, good job, buddy. Now I need you to go and and harvest, I mean, convert souls. (laughs) (laughs) For the good cause of Cthulhu. Tell all your friends about how Mm. good it is. What's the the bullet point one sentence pitch that Iron can quickly spread around? Worship Cthulhu and he'll eat you last. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. He sort of like pads his way uh, out of like the little corridor you're in. Iron, be careful. Just don't put yourself in danger with this. He goes over, there's a little desk, and he kind of like, you see him takes off his bishop's hat, and sort of like hides it in his robes. And he takes out a little fishy card and kind of, ka-chunk, like plucks it. <laughs> and then like walks in, it's like, uh, it's like playing it cool. It's like a sheet of smoked salmon. <laughs> <laughs> he puts it in, it comes out with a caper embedded. Um, and he Yum. goes around. And one by one, you sort of see him, he sort of like has a little word in someone's ear. And then there's a pause and he moves on and suddenly there's someone else sort of following him. Oh, like lemmings. And he sort of keeps going. And then a few of them have to sort of like talk for a little while and really talk things out. But eventually you see like, you've basically converted all of the fish. Um, you're feeling pretty, pretty jazzed about this, and they sort of like they've gone round the room, and now they're sort of all standing there pretending to do like busy work. And you mm. see Iron kind of look at you like, all right, we need to confront Chul yep. before mm-hmm. uh, he realizes that something's up with the minions. All right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, I've got a better plan to catch this big red lobster man. Mm. We'll toss him in a boiling pot, and when he's done, we'll butter him up. I love it. That's just song lyrics. Let's go and talk to him. <laughs> I, know. I know, but I also I do love it. <laughs> and we didn't have lunch. That's true. Mm-hmm. But there's some really good meat in those claws. Let's go. <laughs> let's right. go talk to the chul, right? Yeah. Should we yep. strive? You've got a bit of a rapport with this crab thing. Oh yeah, that's true. All right, I stride boldly down the nave. <laughs> I sea nave. Yeah. Sit the sea, sea nave of the sea yeah. church. Yep. Yeah. I've got the giant pearl tucked under one arm, the, nice. I assume sacred, giant pearl, and I say, ahoy there, Chul, we know your game. Nope. Oh, <laughs> hello. Okay. Oh, hello. I uh, see so you brought back the pearl. Yeah, but not for you, for the good people of this sea church, which has been usurped by you, usurper, and we're taking it back for Cthulhu. I, all right, I, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We've been here for generations, for one thing. Not that it's any of your business. And second, it was a simple task, mate. Bring us a pearl, we'll stop killing people. No one said anything, anything, about, <laughs> about, stop about giving up a church as part of the bargain. Well, I've changed the terms of our bargain tool, and now I'm taking it back for Cthulhu Dad. Pray she does not change them further. Yeah. You realise you are definitely going to have to kill me in order to do that. Really? You don't want to just convert to Cthulhuism? It's pretty good. Cthulhu's great, he's got tentacles, lives in space. I don't even really believe in him, but I've seen some weird stuff. He's definitely real. Have you even heard about the Sea Mother? She is wonderful. What was the last miracle she performed? Getting people to follow her religion in spite of her name, I'll be perfectly honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because... Oh, bleep. Do you even know it? Yes. Say it then. <laughs> Say it now. Oh, Say it now without looking at your notes, crab man. Booply boop. There no. you go. You don't no. even know. No, I put it's... it to you, Chul, that you are a theocrat. And yeah. You've erected a statue to yourself outside this temple. Yeah. That's... I run over and kick the statue. No, it's Marlon. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he runs out of the It takes him a couple Swim of minutes. I come back and then I tell everyone that I kicked the statue. <laughs> you satisfied? Yeah, I am, yeah. <laughs> right. That. We'll give you one chance to leave. And if not, we're going to be having those claws with drawn butter. Yeah. Well, 
If you praise Cthulhu, maybe he'll give you opposable thumbs. Think how great they are. Cthulhu is super real. Like, we went through a hole full of tentacles earlier. Mate, I, I've got loads of tentacles coming out of my face. I'm doing just fine for opposing. Is that how you do your texting? Yeah. Okay. What's texting? <laughs> yeah. so, oh, C texting. Yeah, C texting. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, this seems moot, really, as a conversation when we're talking about whether or not we're about to have a fight to the death. How healthy are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> how many hit points would you say? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's not how health works. But if you had to put it. <laughs> Are you lost in Tangle? Oh! Oh! Oh, wow, okay. oh well, he's in there. Guess we're into it then. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Yeah, go on. Uh, so. Yeah, some kelp and various seaweeds come up within a 20 foot square radius of uh, the yep. tool. And will hold him there for one minute if I am successful. Okay. I have to make a strength saving throw. Mm -hmm. okay. So, what is your. Spell DC? 11. 11. Um, a bunch of seaweed kind of comes up and wraps around his uh, limbs and his claws and even across his face and tentacles and he literally just goes Damn it. <laughs> um, I would like, I look at Chul and see what, is he like, just, I just want to get a load of his physical deal. What's he wearing? What's his shape? How tall is he? That kind of thing. He is very large. He's a large aberration. He looks unarmoured. I mean, I apart made from... He's made of armour. He's literally just yeah. chitin. Very, very chitinous, yeah. All right. He's got natural armour. Okay. You're fishing for numbers, aren't you? No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Merowen, that didn't work. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Corazon once told me a, a cool poem about how to defeat a lobster. I did, um, it's true. Uh, you... We don't have one of those big... <gasps> we don't need it. What do we got? What do we need? What can you create? Do you want me to make a block of water around him? And, and what can we do in a block? We can heat the water to boil. Send away! No. I am going to ask everybody now to <laughs> roll for <laughs> initiative. Alright. It's on. 18. Wow. 20. 20. No, 16. 20? Plus 4, yeah. 20. Oh, plus initiative, 25. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Dob, 25. Next is Me, Marilyn. 20. 20. 11. Uh, 14. I've uh, got 14 plus one initiative. So okay, so that's Egbert is 15. Then it's Corathon uh, with, what was it? 14. 14. And then Prudence, you roll 10? 11. Okay, well that means that the Chul is definitely going last. Yeah! Bully for you lot. Oh look, it's Dob then Meryl <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is it? Are we able to do that thing where, where Dob holds his go off after me? Yes, you're allowed to delay your go. Okay, right, so I cast create water in a 30 foot square uh -huh. around Chul. Okay, fine. Mm. Marilyn kind of like takes a step back, her cloak flies out in a cool way. She kind of just goes <laughs> and a cube of water appears around the jewel who's like, I like water. I'm extraordinarily well prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have to do better than that. Um, speaking of which, uh, next <laughs> I guess would be Dom. I cast Thunder Wave. <laughs> Spell safe DC. 16. 16, okay. Yeah, no, they did not make that. That means he's taking 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 foot away. So, Robbie, 2d8. Does the water amplify the effects of this? That's a good question. It's got it, it's electric. Mm, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Probably the entire key would be charged salt water. It's salt water. Salt water, it's salt water as well. Healthy. Well, this almost certainly doesn't have a, uh, have a rule in for it. You know what? Stick an extra d8 in there, I'm feeling Woo! generous. Yeah. It is the festive yeah, season about after all. It is. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> we got eight, four, four. That's pretty great. So that's Yay! 16. Thunder wave, thunder wave, thunder wave. There we go. The, 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 like, the crown of converts are loving this. Yeah. Like, nothing exciting ever happened around here. <laughs> it's like, wee -hee. Go to church. <laughs> Cthulhu has all the best music. Wow, he made religion cool. <laughs> um, I spin my chair around. <laughs> let's, let's rap about Cthulhu. Is the water still around? Because my, my main deal is fire, and that doesn't really go down that well. Yeah. Unless you yeah. heat the water with your Boil flame 
for us. Steam him. Boil him in the steam steam him. boiling water. And then we won't have to cook him afterwards. It's an old family recipe. I say, Steamed boiled clams. lobster anyway. Yeah. And then I use my flame breath to heat the water up uh, to a <laughs> boil. <laughs> okay. Lobster boil. Let's talk about your flame breath. Some lobster screaming. What are the normal rules for your flame breath? And then I'll see what happens when you're using it to cook. 2d6 damage on a failed save, Great. half as much on success. Lovely. So I've got to beat a 12. No, yes. I did not. <laughs> <sighs> You're literally steamrolling this fight, <laughs> which is great. I'm not even mad, because we're having a boss fight. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you 3d6 because hilarious steam bath. Yeah. <laughs> and then from, I think the water will be dispelled by yes. having been turned mm. into yes. steam. That feels fair to me. Okay. So roll me 3d6. Okay. 3d6. 3d6. Oh, 4, 4, 2. Um, it, it, Something smells good. You hear a weird kind of like, you know perfectly well how deep this guy's voice normally is, so when he gives sort of like a, a creaking like ah, noise, you know he's, he ain't loving it. Guys, he's having he's a lot of deeper than that. He's in a lot of pain. <laughs> well, as long as he's in pain. He's suffering. You hear all of the cultists, as I'm now going to refer to them as, yeah. just being like, mm. they're learning some exciting new truths yeah. about the Church of Cthulhu. <laughs> Guys, he was an unbeliever. And this is what happens. Oh, oh man. man. This is turned from you could have wonderful benefits to you. I am He whacks his bishop's hat back on. He's like, I'm cool, right? I'm the bishop. Come on. Yes. Um, what, what do? I immediately hide. Um, <laughs> where's Corazon? <laughs> behind a rock or similar. Yep. And then I'm going to fire my short bow. Uh, as a sneak attack. Okay. Uh, its armor class is 16. Seven plus nine is 16. It's exactly 16. Fantastic. You have yes. hit. So that was a sneak attack, which means you do bonus damage. All right. Uh, five, three, and a one. Five, three, and a one. So that is nine. nine. Uh, where do you hit it? Uh, in the soft underbelly. Yeah, cool. It goes in quite a long way. It's sort of stopped by the flocking. And he looks down, it's just like... <laughs> He's having a real, real bad day. <laughs> and it's only going to get worse. Yeah. Prudence, you're next. Gather round, fishmen. <laughs> Witness the... I hope this works out now, because it doesn't. Really <laughs> Witness the power of Cthulhu, I say. And then I Eldritch Blast the guy. Cool. Chool. Yeah. That's right. It. So it's 10 plus 7. Spell attack bonus. Right, so you have hit. Yes! yes. Woo, just as well. Never throw a big boss at you guys. I, <laughs> I learned this lesson so slowly. Um, roll your right. damage, which Ooh. for an agonizing, oh, agonizing blast, blast is locked. So I need a D10 and then you add your five because it's so five. You do five now. bonus damage. Yeah, all right, five. On the D10, plus this could be 15. It's eight plus five, so 13. 13 damage, that yeah. is pretty respectable. Get a load of this iron, I say. <laughs> Check it out, cultists. And hurl a terrifying arcane bolt into the, no, the water's uh, steam yeah, the water's now. Into yeah. the steam cloud, right in his thorax, where the where your crossbow bolt, shortbow bolt, yeah. has landed. That's right. Cool. Both of its pins is like thrown back and it seems for a minute like it's being pinned oh, yeah. um, to the That's wall. That's the agony. Yeah, it lets out another horrifying screech Ooh. and its tentacles kind of writhe. It sways a bit and then kind of like <laughs> shakes itself up um, off rather and like opens up its arms and gives like a shriek oh. and starts to charge. Oh. Well, it starts to move forwards. What is your armor class, please, Egbert? <laughs> Uh, it always comes for me first, doesn't it? I uh, promise <laughs> I rolled to see who it would go for. Oh. <laughs> uh, my armor class is 17. Oh, you're harder to hit than a chool. Yep. Cool. <laughs> it's chool cool. <laughs> Four plus six is 10. Uh, <laughs> it has a pincer. It swipes at you. It's, I guess you maybe take it on the shield. Yeah. Um, Clang. Yeah. Uh, and you feel a righteous surge of energy um, sort of pour through you 
And even now, you're like, did that come from a deity? Did it not? Needs further examination. Maybe I'll write a pamphlet about it. Will do. But anyway, we go around the houses again. We're back to Tom. Okay, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is cast Bardic Inspiration, Ooh. which doesn't cost me my turn, you'll remember. It doesn't, yeah. And I'm going to inspire Merylwen and just be like, Merylwen, you're going to do great. You're going to show this crab who's boss. <laughs> Good. And then uh, I fix my eyes on the metal bolt that's buried in the, <laughs> I can see where thorax. Going. the thorax that Corazon <laughs> fired. Oh, very mm -hmm. good. I point my loot towards it, uh -huh. and with righteous heavy metal fury, I cast heat metal. Yeah, that is perfectly infuriating. Well <laughs> okay, good. Basically. You, you just do that, the metal starts to glow. Um, so basically what, what happens simple. here is that any creature in physical contact with the object, and I think we can all agree that this chill very much is, takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast a spell. Sweet. <laughs> and until the spell ends, which is uh, 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 his concentration up to a full minute, you, you can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. Whoa! Nice. Sounds good. All right. Uh, so that's 2d8 damage, please. Cool. Roll it. All right, lift my arm up, and as I go down for the strum, yep. I say, let's see if this gives you claws for concern. No. Whoa, 8-5. <laughs> 13. 13. <laughs> wow. Okie dokie. I mean, that's going to be hard to follow, Marilyn, but I'm excited to learn what you're planning on doing. Okay, with with your, your bardic, bardic inspiration. inspiration, yeah. yeah. We've got bardic inspiration. Uh, so I'm going to try out, you know, I really, really haven't been use it, using my uh, Circle of the Moon powers enough. Um, so I'm going to cast Moonbeam. Oh, jeez. This thing. <laughs> Sounds terrifying, isn't I'm it? Getting, terrifying. I'm getting kind of like, oh, this. This temple's quite cool, and like I just want to do something cool and magical in it. Go yep. for it. Nice. Mind, tell us uh, about so Moonbeam again. It's, uh, I hear her saying this, and I concentrate very hard on my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> shake hands, shake hands. <laughs> basically, but basically calling the power of the moon okay. uh, in a five-foot radius mm. around my enemy, mm. uh, within which you get kind of like misty, uh, white, fiery uh, powers wow. from within. Um, and they kind of just disintegrate them. Gorgeous. Cool. Two D ten damage. Loving it. Yeah. If I, if I fail the saving throw, so your mm -hmm. spell DC is what? Eleven. Eleven. That's my, okay. That's okay. Mm. Neatly sidesteps your moonbeam. <gasps> oh. No! So the moonbeam starts shining down. Oh. It is a concentration right. up to a minute, though, so you can basically be like, uh, chase him around. <laughs> Push him into the moonbeam. But uh, for this moment, um, oh, actually, oh, so it, it still takes 1d10 uh, damage. So it's a successful throw. It's still right. taking 1d10 damage. Okay, okay, okay. So he, like, sort of partly sidesteps yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I just sort of, as he throws himself tail. backwards, yeah. oh. he okay, gets one clipped. Claw. Yeah. Not the claws. Eight. Eight. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's still pretty great, to be yes, honest. Yes, not bad. <laughs> okay, after Marilyn comes Egbert. What do I want to do? I feel like this situation needs a deft touch. <laughs> 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 so you're passing your turn to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw a bomb at him. Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> blast him into my moonbeam. <laughs> yes, I aim slightly to the side <laughs> where it would blast him into yes. the moonbeam. <laughs> Should it be successful? <laughs> I'm going to think about this. <laughs> Snooker it. Like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. We'll have a look. We'll see how the bomb throw goes, uh, shall yeah. we? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, considering how they've gone in the past. <laughs> yeah. So. Really badly most of the time. Yeah. yeah, so you basically, you need to beat a 16 to hit it. To okay, cool. Roll. Adding six. All right, and, and I'm trying to beat 16. 16. So just Come roll on, over a 10 and hit that. Please, one of these bombs works. Sit. Come on, on, numbers. Nine! <laughs> well, you throw, tell me what happens with the bomb. Uh, I light it, I wang it, and it goes past the, the, uh, the tool and hits the unholy altar behind him and oh, no. detonates it. Unholy oh, altar! That's pretty cool. It looks good. It's, it, don't worry, it's not a Cthulhu one. They cleared that one out. Yeah, right? no, yeah. it's there. That right. one's in storage. Demolition yeah. team. So Love he it. sort of turns around. It's going to look totally on purpose. And then I look back at the cultists and go, 
<laughs> they are like, oh! like you don't know where they got the banner from. Like they've already got one that just says Egbert. No. Oh! Um, and you see the chill kind of look. He looks at the altar. He looks at what he still thought were his minions. And he's kind of with his claws goes like, <laughs> uh, guys, I demoralised him. This fight's going brilliantly. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty demoralised, <laughs> to be fair. You know what, for a fail, sorry, that was a pretty great turn. I think you did Thanks. very well. Karasan, it's to you. Gosh. Gosh. Okay. I drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I sip my coffee and survey the situation. Is it one of those in, oh, incense burners, you know, that they swing around in those sort of... Oh, like sensors? Yeah, yeah. like the ones that go like back and forth. And yeah, there's one probably of a couple of those. Pretty, pretty yeah, it's, like, it's, it's just burning like horrible sea matter. Mm. It's like dried out whatever the mulch is at the bottom of the sea. They dry okay. that out and then they burn yeah. it and it's grim. Mm. That feels like it could do some damage. Mm. Um, mm. All right, I use Mei Chan's Leisure Demand mm -hmm. from where I'm hiding to grab one of the sensors and fling it at the Chul. Okay, cool. And it's it's Chul face. <laughs> it's Chul Chul face. We will call that. It's another uh, strength athletics check. You are looking to beat the 16. That's an 18. Woo. Yes. yes. Right, right, you hit it. Now, what's the damage <laughs> on a sensor full of horrible fish guts? <laughs> that are on fire. That are very good. Let's yes. call it 2d6. Okay. Oh, wow. Three. Three. It looked really cool. Cool. Like ashes exploding everywhere. Yeah. That's the the fishies are absolutely losing their minds right yeah. now. It's, it's going to sound really good in the Penny Dreadful. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, prudence. I vault onto the ruined altar nice. at the head of the sea church. Love it. I climb atop the rubble and stretch my arms heavenward. Let's say. Are you pleased? <laughs> Is this good? I just want validation. <laughs> and then I say, get some, and I... <laughs> and I, I, I launch a magnificent Eldritch Blast, hopefully, yep. at Chul. Yep, Great. that's the plan anyway. Please yep. do. Old red. Oh, you want old red? Oh, no, red! Oh, you too, red. red. It's a um, nine. Oh, oh, no, sorry. wait, an eight. No, wait, a nine. <laughs> How did you confuse a nine and an eight? It almost joins up. It almost does join up. It's a, it's a nine. It's a nine, which is Plus, a hit. Oh, well, well okay. With your, yeah, oh, yeah, with yeah, your modifier. Yeah, yeah. So it's, a, it's a hit. Right, 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 right. Good, and then for damage I needed... Is this a ten? Yes, that's a, ten. a ten. There Charisma we go. modifier on top, I remember. All right, that's an eight, again, with right. the charisma modifier of five. So that's the... 13. 13 again. Lucky. Wouldn't it be great if Lucky it just explodes now? This dude is like... Right in the tentacles. Oh right man, the... he's like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be honest, a few of them you just see like fly oh. up. Oh. Yeah. And they splat on the wall behind oh. you. He's looking really messed up. Like <laughs> He's looking like he's just done like 12 rounds in the ring <laughs> with oh. Cthulhu himself. Yes. Nice. And he's starting to smell delicious. Mm. Who wants calamari? Ooh. Guys. <laughs> garlic butter up in yeah, there. Yeah, I start uh, warming the butter in the pan. We're going to eat your old god, I say <laughs> to the fishmen. It's not the traditional winter solstice dinner, but I'll take it. Has in anyone bought household, eggs and blankets? We can eat our old god. <laughs> um, and he is definitely going to rush at you, Prudence. Uh, what's your Come at me. What's, <laughs> what's your armour class? Oh, I don't know. I'm not, uh, <laughs> Come out 12. 12. 12 okay. I'm thinking once this is all over, it'll make a really great mural. Like yep. Prudence and Chul fighting on a ruined altar. Like Forever. we should get this commissioned yeah. while Corazon finally dices some garlic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the column. Yeah. Um, here's what happens. <laughs> um, it basically, it's like the this massive claw comes and like uppercuts you basically. <gasps> and you fly up into the air Damn. and it Ooh. grabs you with the other one. <gasps> oh boy. Oh. And you take nice. 11 points of damage. Oh, oh, no. oh, my limbs and organs. Oh, no. How many ah. points of damage do you have? I have 18. Okay. Ah, I've been mangled, wow. guys. Oh, my God. I mean, guys, I'm being pretty, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so. I'm just Julie Cancel the mural. I'm Julie adding some chives. So. <laughs> you, yeah, you, yeah. Uh, I'm in its claw, in its pincer. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, my organs. Guys, help. I'm just oh, sweating some shallots. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're back to Dob, who I believe has still got heat metal going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you maintaining that? Because if you are, you can just roll 2d8 and you'll probably kill it. <laughs> I'm not gonna Will that take my roll. turn? No, that's a bonus action. It's a bonus action, yeah. Okay, um, I... <laughs> the first thing I do 
is... I appreciate the smell of the delicious shallots. It smells so good. It smells great. The whole room suddenly smells amazing, which, given the circumstances, is pretty good. <laughs> I pick up iron and I say, iron, great follower of Cthulhu, Salt. demonstrate to us the true powers <laughs> of the old one. And then, while iron's flapping his little fins around, beneath my breath, I just sort of like hum a little tune to reactivate heat metal. Cool. <laughs> Are you... Oh, so you're just getting him to mystically smite the children? Yes, yeah. yeah. I thought you were throwing him at No, no. no. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll 2d8 damage. Roll high, yeah. I want to see this guy pop. That's a one and an eight for nine. nine. It's enough. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you don't quite understand what Iron's saying, but he's like gabbling away and flapping his fins. Like, yeah, he sounds like a murder. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the chill kind of just goes like and shrieks um, and just topples over. Uh, and just lets off an inviting cloud of steam. <laughs> yeah. And there's silence Beautiful. for a few seconds, and then like the cheering section of Fishmen go absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they start yeah. dragging out at tables and chairs <laughs> and dining stuff. <laughs> and they're looking at you like, they look to you specifically, they're like, this. this. I stretch out dramatically on the altar. Some of my insides are on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, you, kind of, you get deposited uh, back on the altar uh, as the chul. Uh, very good, well done. Cthulhu is pleased. Bless you, bless you. Yay! <laughs> 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 they carry on setting up for a dinner party, basically. Right. Um, yeah, yeah you're, so, you're just you're resting for a minute. <laughs> just give me a minute, guys. Anyone want to heal up, Prudence? Um, I got a healing <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy salting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Egbert, you can probably... Uh... Uh, I can no, do some... So you, you want someone less religious? Oh, <laughs> you're not really in a position to be picky right now. Oh, Iron, show us another of your great miracles. Oh, great prophet Iron. Uh, oh, great prophet Iron. <laughs> I've uh, got cure wounds. I need to be within... Uh, Touch. Uh, yeah, touch distance. I need to uh, be, I'm not walking over there. 1d8 <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus spell uh, casting modifier. Yep. It says no undead or constructs, but. No, I'm fine. I'm not, you're not like, undead. I'm not, are you? I'm not undead. That would yeah. be a choice character reveal. Bam, bam, bam. You're just looking a bit peaky. Oh, no. Um, so, yeah, 1d8 plus your uh, spell modifier. Yeah. Then. Okay, 1d8 for the health points. Yep. yep. Think yep. lucky. Oh, don't. If it's a negative, I don't want it. Two. Plus, um, uh. plus two, so four. <laughs> so four. Okay. So still feeling pretty peaky. Some oh. of the insides. Some of your insides have gone. Stuff are back in. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're, Staple you're inside to back in, but you're still pretty banged right. up. You're just like, right. this has been a hard oh. day. Egg, but lend me your mace for a second. I'm going to crack these claws open. Okay, <laughs> I pass my mace to uh, to Corazon. Yeah, I think that's fair. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is the good meat. Think, and your new cultists, me. basically, of everyone sets about Prizing prizing that. open and and bisecting uh, the former oh, yeah. cult leader. I cast prestidigitation on the whole corpse to make it taste of garlic butter. Garlic butter, yeah, yeah. that's a good cause. <laughs> Um, we spent hours on this sauce. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's a subtle flavour that complements what Corazon cooked up. Thank you very much. Yeah. And everyone basically sits down to the least holy meal I think any of you has ever <laughs> had. It's borderline for prudence, yeah. let be per let's be perfectly Don't honest. Um, and as you sort of sit down to dine, uh, are you saying a little dedication to Cthulhu or anything? Hold it, everyone. Hold hands. Yeah. Praise Cthulhu! Praise, 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 Cthulhu. praise be. Praise Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Cthulhu bless us. I'm technically Everyone. not on board with this, but also there's lobster. Ah. So. Ah. <laughs> um, else feel really weird. The minute you finish your, your blessing, like all of the torches in the room explode into like a gout of green, like bale fire. Yay. Um, Yay. And all of the, yeah, <laughs> okay. all of the idolatrous stuff that was sort of carved into the walls drops down and falls away. Mm. So you see Prudence sort of just like casually tucking in while to the rest of you it feels like the whole building is coming down. <laughs> but really it's just restoring itself to the natural order of things. And you feel very, very fulfilled. You feel like you've done your duty and if you're gonna get a present off off of Cthulhu this this winter solstice season, it's gonna be a good one. Yay! Yay! I mean, that yeah. pearl's probably going begging, isn't it? So, you know, just half inch that for still cursed, teams, yeah. still, still cursed. Still cursed, very cursed. much still cursed. You love that stuff. But though. this isn't this <laughs> what the holidays are all about, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. friends, 
good food that we just horribly murdered <laughs> ourselves. And a happy Cthulhu. And a happy Cthulhu day to everyone. Happy Cthulhu day happy Cthulhu to everyone day. watching. Thank you so much for joining us for this special festive edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Thank you so much to Johnny for another yeah. amazing adventure. My mm. pleasure. Thank you to The Loading Bar uh, here in Dalston for letting us film here. And thank you to all of you for watching it. And don't forget you can buy a D&D t-shirt right now if you go down to the description of this video. Yeah. Uh, if you're still waiting for a Christmas present for someone. But uh, all that remains to be said is happy Winterval Christmas. Happy Winter Solstice. Uh, Christmas Christmas holiday. 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 Holiday.